Flags are flying at half staff today here at the state capitol. There were dozens of people here earlier today supporting law enforcement from a group called Blue Lives Matter. They want people to know that they want them to back the badge. After a day of carnage in Baton Rouge, families of law enforcement gathered at California State Capitol to show support for cops. It used to be a dangerous job, but now it's life-threatening job. Kim asked us not to use her last name because she fears for the safety of her husband, who is in law enforcement. And the same is true for Lynn, whose husband is also a cop. Looking over the kitchen table as I heard the news at my husband, knowing that he's going out there today in uniform, made my stomach hurt and I immediately started crying for all of the all the people that are suffering because of these losses. With three officers killed today in Baton Rouge and five others slain in Dallas just 10 days ago, some law enforcement families are urging their kids not to become cops. At this point with the trend the way it is, I would tell them no. It's a very honorable profession, but I would encourage them not to do it. But Nicole Romans, whose husband an Oakland police officer was gunned down seven years ago, she has one daughter in law enforcement. So I would never discourage my children from that. It's, it's not about that. They, they want to serve. What a bigger blessing to have that. It doesn't matter what, what they do. As long as they're being good people, being good and kind to others, that's what I want for my children. The chain of attacks on police has left many officers feeling besieged. There's no excuse for that. Jim Harris served 36 years with the California Highway Patrol, and he's sickened by the violence. But he's also spoken with fellow officers about racial profiling. Most of you guys don't know what it's like to be followed in the store for no reason, to be stopped and pulled over for no reason, to be hassled for no reason. I said, I, on the other hand, have experienced that. I said, and guys, I'm here to tell you, it's not fun. Race still a very difficult and divisive topic in this country. The law enforcement families here today wanted people to know that they are working for justice. They say they are trying to bring an understanding and bring justice to families of all nationalities, all ethnicities, and all religions. They say that's a narrative that is often not told. Reporting live at the state capitol, Mike Lurie, KCRA 3 News. Yeah, Mike, such a volatile climate right now. What are officers in our area doing now to better protect themselves? Well, Rob, there are some tactical differences. Uh, we heard from the Sacramento police today. They tell us that they are doubling up on officers on patrol. Since Dallas, they now have two officers in the car compared to one, and uh, the officers have the option of doing that anytime they go out on assignment.